So, we are just under a month away now from the official launch of Battlefield 1 on October 21st. Yes, I'm aware it does drop on the 18th for deluxe owners and on the 13th for a 10-hour trial on EA and Origin Access, but the official launch is on the 21st. And DICE are starting to ramp up and confirm all the missing details that people have been looking for. Earlier in the week, I dropped a couple of videos regarding four new maps and a new game mode being added, but a lot of people weren't aware that there was already more information confirmed and available for us to read over. I'll be confirming all of the maps and game modes in the release for Battlefield 1 today, so you know what to expect the first time you load up the game. This way, you'll be able to jump into any map or mode combo that you desire. Just before I continue, I have a sponsored message from App Bounty. They'll reward you with gift cards for Xbox, PSN and Steam, various other platforms, simply for downloading and trying out free apps. Whether you're on iOS or Android, you can take part and get some cool rewards for spending some of your time there. Just head to appbounty.net, the link's in the description along with instructions. Enter the code WESTY with a capital W to get yourself started and download the first offer. App Bounty can be accessed from lots of places all over the world and you get to pick the rewards that you want. After you've downloaded the apps and you've got your credits into your account, you can delete the apps if you want to, save some space on your smartphone. Something there if you want to take part and build yourself up towards an Xbox or PlayStation card for your account. Head over to appbounty.net and use code WESTY to get yourself started. As I mentioned, links in the description. Okay then, so let's start with the maps. Nine of them in total coming at launch, and let's kick it off with the ones that you know all about already. St. Quentin Scar from the Alpha and Sinai Desert from the Beta. Scar is set in the French countryside, residing around a small town and a ruined church in the centre. There are extensive trench networks on this map as well, although you might not have seen those during the Alpha, as Conquest didn't use that area. Sinai Desert is a large open warfare map, favouring vehicles heavily out in the desert, but featuring a more infantry-focused area down in the town. Moving on now to the Italian Alps. First up, we have Monte Grappa, and you've seen this a couple of times already. You might not have noticed it, though, very briefly during trailers and clips of the game. But here, you'll be fighting on the mountainside above the clouds, looking to take control of mountain forts using a network of hillside trenches and open fields. You can use massive entrenched fort cannons to stop enemies pushing up and advancing towards you. This map will feature the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the Italian Army. Empire's Edge, the second map, is set along the Adriatic coastline. A small Mediterranean village gets brutally destroyed by mortar shells and the cannons of the Dreadnought. This was Italy's last stand in the Great War. On now to Amiens, another French map and one that possibly links to St. Quentin Scar. Amiens is a destructive urban map where the British and German empires clash over a large city fighting for control during the spring offensive. Alleyways, courthouses, railway crossings and bridges all play a big part in this close quarters battle. This sounds like the urban map of players' dreams. Think Sen Crossing and Grand Bazaar from Battlefield 3, put those together and a whacking great armoured train rolling through the middle of it. This one is going to be really good. Four maps left now. These were all confirmed to us the other day via the Battlefield website. First up, the Zuis Canal, the major shipping canal of the Great War, where the Ottoman Empire tried desperately to take control and utilise the area for their own benefit. The British Empire are there to stop them. Then we have Foul Fortress, another Ottoman Empire map. They defend against an amphibious assault on the desert coast by the British Empire, who are looking to secure oil reserves on the Al Four Peninsula. Second to last, we have Ballroom Blitz, the Battle of the Meuse River in 1918 between the American forces and the German Empire. The Americans push out of the trenches, forcing the Germans to retreat to what was their home, a French chateau, 
and then on through to the railway hub beyond that. And lastly, Argonne Forest. Close quarters trench warfare between the Americans and the Germans, heavy foliage covering lines of sight and an abandoned railway that runs through the map as well, dividing the land up into two. Fight for control using field guns, gas grenades and machine gun nests. This sounds like another awesome infantry map for Battlefield 1. Next, we're going to talk about the game modes. You know most of them already, there are six in total, and really, they don't require much explanation. Conquest, now updated to include kills counting towards the ticket score, an improvement from the beta that was made by DICE. And then we have Rush and Domination, both of which we've seen, Rush on Sinai Desert, where everyone discovered that sniping was the best way to play that game mode, and then Domination was actually in the closed alpha. A lot of gameplay was shown on YouTube of that. People seem to react well to it, but it is just Domination. Operations is our fourth game mode. These are multi-map battles that are based on real battles from World War I. They'll give you an authentic recreation of being on the front line of World War I, mixed in with DICE's creative flair for what they have in this game. As an attacker, you need to push and take sectors, and the defenders are there to stop you in your tracks. You'll battle across several maps, two or three in stages. You might have noted when we discussed the maps that there were similarities between two or three of them, meaning they will link together. And then, all sorts of vehicles, planes, weapons, everything, all thrown into the mix. This is basically Battlefield 1's biggest game mode. Team Deathmatch returns as well, that really doesn't need any explanation. And lastly, we have War Pigeons. You and your team need to search for the pigeon on the map, capture it, and use it to give coordinates to an artillery unit, that's controlled by the server, of the location of your enemy. You need to hold on to the pigeon while you write a note, and then once the note is complete, set it free in a safe outside location. These six game modes are kind of what we expect from a Battlefield game, all except Operations, which is kind of like an amalgamation of several different game modes, all rolled into one massive battle. It's not something we've seen before, and personally, it's what I'm looking forward to the most about Battlefield 1's game modes. There will be more coming in DLC, but you will have to pay for those via the Premium Pass or buy each DLC separately when it comes out. So, that's all nine maps and six game modes confirmed coming to the launch of Battlefield 1, alongside the free map Giant Shadow in December. Which one are you looking forward to most? Which game mode do you really want to play? Let me know down in the comments. I'm off to TwitchCon next week, so I'm going to be extremely busy. <laughs> if you see me there, come and say hi. I promise I won't bite. But until next time, my name is Westy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.